Hi, it's Dirk again with Remodel AI, and I have another user request, and he or she wants some help with this home, and basically they want to improve the curb appeal, um, but without repainting the home. Uh, the interesting thing about this home is it looked like it has a converted garage into some sort of mother-in-law unit um, with the deck, and I agree, this does look a little bit weird um, because you've got this one brick entryway, which is nice, but then you have a separate entryway next to it with its own kind of deck, and the deck is on top of the old driveway, probably because there was a garage there. Um, so it does look a little strange. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways to play with the app and play with AI that you can use to explore different options. Uh, I'm not gonna take it in a specific direction because I don't really know what I would do here, but I'm just gonna show how you would use the app to explore different options. So let me go back to the main menu and I'm gonna use the exterior editor that's because we're going to be using several different edits, so not one simple operation like landscaping or a simple remodel. We're going to do several things. And then I'm going to load the photo, I believe I saved. So I've saved this one on my Google Drive. Um, you could work with any of them. I just happen to choose this one and say, let's explore what to do here. Um, it's a tough one. I think the weird thing about this is, one, this deck is sitting on top of asphalt. Uh, which is a little strange. And two, you have two separate decks here. Um, so one of the things I might explore would be what if we extended this deck um, all the way over here. Now, the way I would do that is with the replace tool, and I would replace a certain area of the image. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover over this, all this, so the AI can't see this, essentially. I'll probably get rid of this railing, and I'm going to leave that decking exposed. So I'm going to replace this area of the image and I'm going to ask it maybe to extend the deck. So give the AI plenty of area to work with and we'll see if this works. So what to prompt, what to write here is another experiment you'll need to run. So I'm going to write um, nice deck wrap around um, composite decking. I believe that's nice composite decking, which is great stuff. Um, but this is concrete. So I'm going to try to encourage it to kind of wrap that all the way around. So let's, let's see what happens here. I'm not sure if this will work or not. That's interesting. It kept this railing. I don't know why it did that. I must have missed something in the mask. But generally, I kind of like that a lot better. Um, it's actually kind of cool. I didn't think of, I was thinking the deck would wrap around here, which I think you probably have to do because you have concrete there. Um, the question is, why did it put this here? I'm not sure why it did that. I think I missed. Yes, I did. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to try this again. Replace, and I'm going to say cover all that. And this too. So I think what I did before is I missed some area of the image. And so it was seeing all of this post, and so it was trying to put a new post there. So hopefully I covered it all this time. Let me give it more area to work with down here and just see what the AI comes up with. I'm going to use the same prompt as I did last time. This will show you just how you, by changing the mask you can have hugely different results. Um, so giving the AI a different area of the image to change. It also included this again, but you know what I will do? Ooh, I like that. I really do like that. That kind of messed up that we obviously need steps here because you're going to enter here. Um, so I'm actually going to say accept this, um, but I'm going to go back and fix this now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace all this and just remove it. So you don't have to get the perfect image. Um, you could write something in here 
empty porch, empty deck, uh, something along those lines. Um, or you can just write nothing and see what the AI puts in that place on its own. It really wants to put a separated rail here, probably because it wants to match this rail. Why does it do that? No railing. Really wants to put a rail there. Not sure why. Because there clearly doesn't need to be a rail between here and here. Although, I probably do want railing over here to match that. Let me try a bigger mask. I'm going to write no prompt here at all and see what it comes up with. There we go. I guess it just needed a bigger mask. Let's see what the other ones look like. That one had some plants. That's not bad. More plants. Um, in fact, that's a good idea. So I'm going to accept this one for now. Um, but I'll show you. You could go back and say... Um, Let's replace this area with nice pots and plants. You know, just so the deck doesn't look so barren. I like those the best. Um, so this would probably involve extending on top of the existing concrete deck kind of entryway and building this deck out over the top of it. Um, the other thing I think that's a little weird is this is all on top of asphalt. Um, so what I would probably do is go in here again with the replace tool and say, let's change this whole kind of area. And maybe we could have some flower boxes. Um, there is some asphalt, so maybe I'll keep some of the image exposed. And the other thing is you could use the landscaping tool for this. Um, let me actually show you how that would work. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to say um, new landscaping. And I'm going to say here. Because um, I don't think this needs to be asphalt because you have the other asphalt that goes to your driveway or to your garage. So let's just see what the landscaping tool suggests. Um, there's a bunch of different styles you could use here. The other thing you could probably do is um, a custom prompt. Home with beautiful flowers. Um, landscaping entryway. Um, flower bed, you know, type in all sorts of things here. Uh, I don't know what area of the country this is in, so, you know, some of these styles obviously won't make sense. Um, I think the default was desert. Obviously, that's not going to make sense here because it's clearly it's not desert. Um, but, you know, play around with different custom prompts or preset styles and figure out that's maybe a bit too many flowers. <laughs> Let me get rid of the flower bed. Um, Something like that, I think, makes the most sense, where you're going to have a walkway and flowers kind of around it. A lawn, maybe, but you're probably not going to want to rip out the existing driveway, but you could probably put flowers and something on top of it. Um, so this is what I would play with, and it, look, it fixed that step. Um, so it kind of extended the step all around in some of these cases, even though I didn't ask it to. So I would accept that. So again, you know, this is just a way that you can use the tool and the AI to explore different options. The other thing you could do is say, what if we painted this brick white? Um, you could use the reskin tool for that. Um, 
you could fix up a couple areas of these photos. You could probably remove this railing. It's probably required by code because this is high enough off the ground. Um, or you could install railing over here. Um, the point is you can use these tools, mainly the replace and reskin tools, to just make individual changes. And at the end, what I usually do is I go in here to the upscale, because you'll see some of these borders where we've done tons of replace operations where you can kind of see where it affected the image. You can go in here to the upscale, lower the strength. So the strength controls how much details you're adding to the image. Um, when it's creating a bigger image, it actually goes in and adds details that don't exist. Um, and that's how it looks so good as an end result. So that controls how much it does that. A nice entryway. And you can write in a prompt to guide the process if you want. You don't have to. Uh, but this gets rid of some of those artifacts. Makes it look a little bit better. And let me zoom out now that we have a bigger image. So that's our final image. Again, you know, you could play with all sorts of different things. I don't know which direction you wanted to take that. I just wanted to show you kind of how AI can help you explore and play with different things and figure out what you really like. So hopefully that helps and good luck with your project.